Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will discuss what are the different kinds of surveys that are carried out on board. I will also discuss the specific differences between the surveys which are quite confusing sometimes like periodical and intermediate survey etc. I will share the knowledge of harmonized system of survey and I will share some fine tuned details which will help you a lot during the oral examinations in case of a deep discussion with the surveyor. So let's get started. There are six kinds of surveys that can happen on board. They are called initial, periodical, renewal, intermediate, annual and additional. Initial survey means a complete inspection of all the items relating to a particular certificate before the ship is put into service to ensure that they are in satisfactory condition and fit for the service for which the ship is intended. Which basically means that flag administration has certain regulations and the compliance to which is checked through these surveys. And before a new ship is put into service, initial survey takes place. Now let's talk about the periodical survey. Periodical survey is carried out to carry out inspection of items related to the particular certificate to ensure that they are in satisfactory condition and fit for the service for which the ship is intended. I would like to point out that a general sentence which is item related to a particular certificate to ensure that they are in satisfactory condition and fit for service for which the ship is intended will be used in the definitions of all the surveys except the additional survey. And all you need to remember along with this general sentence is the keywords. For periodical survey, the keyword is inspection of items. And as I discussed the other surveys, you will get more clear on this. Next survey is the renewal survey. This has exactly the same wordings as the periodic survey that inspection of items related to the particular certificates to ensure that they are in satisfactory condition and fit for the service for which the ship is intended. Except along with this, there is an issue of a new certificate in the renewal survey. Then the next survey is the intermediate survey. Intermediate survey, the keywords are inspection of specified items. To say it completely, inspection of specified items related to the particular certificate to ensure that they are in satisfactory condition and fit for service for which the ship is intended. So as you can notice that in intermediate survey, we are inspecting certain specified items while in periodic survey, we are inspecting the items. Thus, periodic and renewal survey are more detailed than the intermediate survey. Then the next survey which is even less detailed is the annual survey. Annual survey is just a general inspection of items related to a particular certificate to ensure that they have been maintained and remain satisfactory for the service for which the ship is intended. So annual service is just about the general inspection of items. And finally, the additional survey, it's an inspection which can be either general or partial according to the circumstances. These kinds of survey take place after a repair resulting from a casualty investigation or whenever any important repair or renewal have been made. So now I'll just repeat the keywords so you can memorize it. Initial survey, a complete inspection before the ship is put into service. For periodical survey, inspection of items. Renewal survey is same as periodical survey except a new certificate is issued. Intermediate survey is inspection of specified items. Annual survey is just general inspection of items. And additional survey is whenever the circumstances require an additional survey, which is mostly after a repair or some sort of renewal that is done on board. All these different kinds of surveys are carried out as per the harmonized system of survey and certification. This was adopted by the IMO resolution 883 session 21 and the IMO resolution came into force on 3rd of Feb 2000. The features of harmonized system of survey are one year standard interval between surveys is carried out, anniversary date of the ship is considered. There is a flexibility for execution of each survey, the maximum validity of 5 years for certificates, maximum validity of 12 months for passenger ship safety certificate, extension of 3 months granted to the ship to complete a voyage, P2 
period of validity of new certificate starts from expiry date of existing certificate before extension in case there was a extension that was provided extension of one month granted to ship engaged on short voyage and at least two inspections are required to be executed of the ship's bottom in five years maximum interval period between the inspection has also been set at not more than 36 months the advantages of harmonized system of survey over the old system are duplication of surveys is prevented there is a ease of uniformity there is a reduced cost and better planning anniversary date is used as a basis for carrying out the surveys there is another imo assembly resolution 1104 session 29 about the survey guidelines under harmonized system of survey the information about the types of survey is extracted from the same the download link of this file is provided in the description of this video and here is a copy of appendix 2 in which there is a diagrammatic arrangement of all the surveys and certification key points to remember from this particular chart is that periodic survey is only carried out in the radio survey and safety equipment survey passenger ships as you know there is always a renewal survey because maximum validity of their certificates is one year except for load line where every year is an annual survey remaining all certificates have annual and intermediate survey in between that means either there is a specified inspection of most of the items or general inspection except in case of radio where every year is equivalent to a renewal survey or the safety equipment certificate in which there is a periodical survey either on second or third anniversary in my upcoming videos i will share how the ship is prepared for various surveys related to different certificates i hope this was a useful video for you if you have any feedback suggestion or comment then please do write down below all the best for your exams and thank you for watching